Hi, my name is Chad Williams and I'm going to talk about packages today. In a past video we talked about functions being a quick way to access a block of script and packages are essentially someone went out and made a function but more likely a series of different functions and then put them all together in a package. So what that means is you can download their package or their series of functions, load it into your R and then use it. I'm going to show you how to do this with a package called ggplot2 which is used for plotting. So if we go to our console, we can write install.packages ggplot2, but in quotation marks. And if we do this, I'm going to get an update message because I already have it, and you might not. Um, but basically, we're going to either install it now or update it. And essentially, the idea is it's downloading the functions. And you see it's going through it now, and you're going to see it download very soon here, and then we'll be done. And there's the download, and we're ready to use it. The thing about packages is you're going to have to download it, but you also have to load it every time you want to use it. And the reason this is is because sometimes we're going to have a lot of different packages, and if R loads all of them every time it starts up, it's going to take a long time. So we've just installed the package. How do we load it? We use the library function. I just write library ggplot2, this time not in quotation marks. Then if I run that, suddenly it's loaded. So now we can use all the functions from ggplot2. One panel I didn't cover in my video about installing R in RStudio is this packages one down here. So what this is, is showing you all the different packages you have access to. So these are what's installed. And the ones that are checkmarked are ones that are loaded. So if we go to ggplot2, we see that it's loaded because we just loaded it. Now, technically, you could go here and then hit the check mark to load it itself, but you don't want to do this because with your script, you want it to be as automatic as possible. So instead, what we'll do is we'll have these libraries at the top of our script loading our packages to make it ready to use. The other thing you might have noticed is I've installed the packages in the console, and the reason that is is we only need to install it once or whenever we want to update it. So we use that function just to download it in the first place or update our package, but we're not going to have to do that every time we want to use it. When we want to use it in the moment, we just need to load it. That's a quick look at packages. Thanks for watching.